Welcome back to Gapy's Garden. As you can see, we are outside. So the peppers have spent the last two nights outside, overnight, and they've been spending the days outside for the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to show you how they're doing since I brought them outside. So we got the peppers in a can here. This is the, the mini bell, and it's doing pretty well. It's the tallest one of the canned peppers. And I've been continuing to pick the flower buds off of pretty much all of these plants um, because we they're not quite ready for setting fruit yet but the peppers in a can I might start letting go probably in the next couple of weeks and then this one here is the hot pops purple so that one has the darkest colored leaves and it's got the most flowers and it's hard to keep up with with getting those picked off um, but this one is already blossomed and then lastly we have the Apache pepper and this one it still has a little bit of edema issues not sure if you can see that on here but um, the rest of them seem to have recovered pretty well since I brought them outside but this one still has some some issues and then right behind it I've got all of the Rokoto peppers so we have four different varieties of Rokoto peppers and I've actually got one more on the way from my neighbor who apparently got one from his brother to give to me so we'll see what happens with that but I should be getting that tomorrow um, but pretty much all of the Rokotos have lost all of their leaves from the main stem up until it forks the new growth seems to be looking okay um, so we'll see what happens with those I was originally gonna plant these in containers but I think I'm gonna get these in the uh, raised bed that I had a fig tree die over winter so I have some room there uh, it's kind of at the back of the the back of the yard next to the fence so I think the ricottos would like that there and then we've got the pineapple ricotto and same thing with this one lots of leaves lost on the main stem and then up until it forks it's been getting some new growth that looks pretty good and then we've got the that's the orange ricotto from Batman same situation here lost all those leaves but the one that's looking the best is the red ricotto here. Um, this one is starting to get some new growth on the, the stem there. So I think this one might look the best so far. So we'll see if they do better once I get them in the ground. And then back here are the chinense varieties that I grew in the double cup. And you can see I've got the cup at the bottom and some water and we've got some roots going here and I've been watering these since I brought them outside a little more often probably almost once or once a day or every other day they seem to be a lot thirstier outside but this one is the black let's see there's a label black panther so it's got the a little bit of purpling in the leaves but not nearly as much purple as the one next to it which is the peach Peter reaper that's the one I'm growing two of so we've got this one here is the one I got from my neighbor um, he grew that last year from a plant that I gave him um, and then this one here next to it is the one that I saved seeds from one of my pods that I grew last year so that's a cross we think from the California peach reaper and the Peter pepper so that's a pretty fun one um, that I've grown for the last two or three years and then this is the Florida pineapple habanero from Batman and I topped that one and it's getting a lot of new growth as you can see getting pretty bushy there and then on the next row we've got the gator jigsaw this is one that has had the most roots on the bottom I think it's got a ton of roots probably an inch of roots there and I've been watering this one probably a little more often than the others and then next to that we've got the Freeport scotch bonnet and I'm growing two varieties of scotch bonnet this year. We've got the Freeport here, which is a really pretty, kind of an orangish peach kind of color. And then I think it's the one next to it. Yeah, this is the Elysium Oxide Scotch Bonnet. So it's kind of a rusty orange color. And then we've got here the Yellow Ghost Pepper. So this is the only ghost pepper. I've grown ghost before, but I think this is the first time I've grown the yellow variety and then we've got the hobito peach 
So this is the cross between the Ahi Hobito and the the peach pepper. So that's going to be, that's one I grew last year and it was super productive and I'm looking forward to growing it again this year. Hopefully it'll it'll do as well as it did last year. Oh, it's the cross between white peach and Ahi Hobito. And then in the last row of the double cups, we've got, that's the lemon starburst. So this is my contest pepper for the Google Plus Pepper Lovers community, which no longer exists because Google Plus was shut down. But we've also got a community in Facebook as well as MeWe. So I'm in both of those groups and have been sharing some of my pictures in that group. And then here's the Nebru 7. This is one I didn't top, but it is forking at the top, you can see. Uh, and it's got a little bit of yellowing in the leaves, and I, both of the the Nebru 7s that I grew had yellow, yellowing leaves, so it might just be the variety that just has lighter colored leaves. And then this one here is the Bohemian Beast. So I topped this one, but for some reason it's only growing one, one stem off of the, the topping. Usually it, it bushes out more and grows a couple stems, but maybe that variety doesn't like to be topped. So we'll see how that works out. And then the last one in the double cup is the Red Fatale. And I did top this one and it's got two, two branches coming out from the topping. And I've heard a lot of good things about Fatale, but this is the first time I've grown it. So we'll see how, how we like that guy. And then next I've got all of the, the more mild peppers. And these are grown in three and a half inch containers. So these are the taller three and a half inch containers. So we've got the Linzo pepper. This is a cross uh, from Kang Star. And it's a super, it's got Thai pepper as one of the crosses. So it looks like it's gonna be really productive. It's got lots of branches and lots of, lots of flower buds on it. And then we've got the Korean gochu. I got these seeds from Kang Star too. Um, and I grew it last year. I actually grew two plants because that's the pepper that you use for making kimchi and I wanted to make kimchi, so I, and I did, and it turned out awesome. And the plant was super, super productive. It was my most productive plant last year, but the thing is, only one of them was productive, the other one was not so productive. So I'm hoping, since I'm only growing one this year, I'm hoping this one's gonna be productive, and so far it's looking pretty good. And then we've got the Sugar Rush Striped. So I've grown Sugar Rush Peach before, and it was super productive, and one of my favorite peppers that I grew I think it was two years ago. So I'm looking forward to the Sugar Rush Striped and hope it's as good as the peach version. And on this next row, we've got a habanada. So that's a sweet pepper and it looks like a habanero, but it has no heat at all. So I thought that was kind of a fun, fun one to try. And then we have the Ahi Mango Long. So that one looks like it's gonna be a nice big plant. It's got a few stems going there. And then I have two varieties of paprika. This one is the Luchauer, and it's it's pretty tall. So, and I did top that one, and it's got a few stems growing from it. So we'll see how that does. And the, the other one is actually behind it. This is the Alma paprika. And look how big those flower buds are on this one. That's pretty pretty crazy. And we've got the Ahi Fantasy. That's another sweet pepper and I didn't top this one so it's getting pretty tall. It's getting a little late in the season to be topping so I'm not probably not going to top it because I don't want to set it back too much. And the one next to it is another one that I didn't top. That's the Trinidad Perfume, another sweet variety. And then behind that we've got the Thai Cluster. So this one grows big clusters of red Thai peppers and I've heard that's a really good one. And then we've got Lemon Drop. That's another popular one that a lot of people enjoy. It should be a productive yellow pepper. And then we've got Ahi Tangerine. This is another one I didn't top. This is a Susan Garza cross. And it's people who have grown it have really loved it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that one turns out. And then lastly, we've got the Kangstar White Tie. And I got these seeds from Batman. So it's looking like it's gonna be another productive pepper. 
So I'm looking forward to all the peppers that I'm going to get this season. So like I said, I'll be getting these in the ground hopefully in the next week or two. I still have a lot of stuff to clear out of my greenhouse. Um, but there's one more thing I wanted to show you and it's inside. So let's go take a look. So these are some cuttings that I took off of the bottom of the Kangstar um, white tie. And this was probably two weeks ago or so. And check this out. They're starting to get little roots at the bottom. So I've got two of those. And look at those nice roots. So I'm going to get those potted up here probably in the next week or so and see if I can grow some little baby white tie plants. And that's all we have for this week. In the next couple weeks I should be getting those plants in the ground and I'll share that process with you too. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.